everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you the 8 week update of the 12 Pans of Christmas project, which if you've never seen one of these videos, basically I chose 12 items that I want to use up or pan by December 25th. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of those items and show you how much I've used up since my last update, which was two weeks ago, and you know, let you know if I've finished up anything since then. But before I do that, I wanted to say a very big thank you to anyone who congratulated me on my finale video, which was the last video that I posted, link in the description bar. Um, it just means a lot that people are watching and that, you know, they're giving me props for finishing stuff. I, I know in the video I said, I didn't finish everything and even though I didn't finish everything, I finished more than half, so I was really happy with that. So again, if you want to check that video out, link down below. And without further ado, I'll get into the progress of my 12 Pants of Christmas project. So I'm going to start off with the items that I've already finished up within the past eight weeks. So the first item that I finished up was the Maybelline Baby Lips uh, in Pink Punch, and I'll just show you the finished product. So that is all that's left. There's This is just basically the plastic applicator and there's a tiny bit left, but I consider it done pretty much. Um, I was ready to move on to other lip balms and getting that tiny little amount left wasn't going to make much of a difference. So basically what I used this for was just multiple times before bed I would just apply it um, and it got used up I think within the first like Either the first update or the second update, I had finished this. The next item that I am technically considering done is my Urban Decay D Slick Travel Size uh, Setting Spray. There's a tiny bit left, as you can see by this line, because um, I can't get it out because the little tube that runs down here it doesn't run all the way down, so it doesn't dispense the product properly anymore. So I'm still trying to figure out how to use up the remaining like three days worth of this um, before the end of the project but as of right now I am considering it done for all intents and purposes. Next I finished up uh, one out of my four antibacterial pocket backs from Bath & Body Works and this one is in Pink Crazy Daisy. Basically it took me um, about three to four weeks to finish it up and those are just the progress lines but basically what I use my pocket backs for are every morning before I put on makeup I will just you know put this on my hands so that I have clean hands before I go in with any moisturizer or primer or anything like that so my plan is to use up four of these now and I'll show you why because it used to be three out of the four of them the next item that I finished up was the Jergens BB Body Perfecting Cream. Um, I finished this up, I want to say, like five days ago. Um, and I would just use this on my arms at night, like probably every three days, every other day sometimes. Um, and I started here, and then it took me, well, four updates to finish it. But basically, it there's only three lines and that's because last update there really wasn't a proper way to like show where it was because it was kind of squished in but like I, like I was just saying like I had to like squish it like this in order to get everything out but it's finally done and I'm so excited to finally have this out of my collection and the last item that I finished up in the past two weeks was my creamy pumpkin pocket back so this is two out of four done so I actually met my original goal, which was to finish up two out of the four. Um, last update, or the update before, I actually made it three out of four, and now I'm going to be doing all four of them. I'm trying to get them all finished up. Um, it started here, and then last update it was here, and then I finished it up, um, I think probably around the same time that I finished up the Jergens BB cream actually. But yeah, this one smelled really, really nice. It was a little bit strong, um, but it was still a really nice pocket back and it had a really nice scent. So I'm happy that I finished up two out of the four of these. So now I'm gonna talk about the remaining items in the project that I still haven't finished up. So I might as well talk about the remaining two pocket backs that I have. And the other two that I have are Winty winter candy apple and one hot mom uh, one hot mom i've been bringing with me to work to use like after i go to the bathroom if there's no hand soap in the bathroom and this one i just started using this week in place of creamy pumpkin so i'll show you the progress on one hot mom first 
And so this I started here and then I believe this was last update and this is now. I'm actually pretty happy with how much I've gone through considering I don't use it every single day but I do use it at work. So I think that's really good progress for this. Um, and by the looks of it, um, if I'm consistent with it, it'll be done by next update. So that's One Hot Mom, which is a sexy cherry blossom scent. And the other one is Winter Candy Apple. And as you can see, it was here a couple of days ago, and now it's down to here. So I haven't had too much time since uh, I finished up Creamy Pumpkin to use this one, but I have used a decent amount, and again, I use it every single morning, so this one should have about the same amount of progress as those other ones, so long as I don't, like, get the flu or something and I can't put on makeup. But yeah, those are my remaining pocket bags. Alright, so next I'm going to talk about my e.l.f. Tinted Lip Balm in Grapefruit. Um, I don't have a way to write on this because it's in the tub, but basically this is just the lip balm that I use in the morning um, after I put on the hand sanitizer and before I put on any moisturizers. I'll just pop this on and by the time that it is time to put on an actual lipstick or a lip product, then my lips are hydrated. So this is what I have in here. I'm going to insert a clip so that you can see um, how much has been used up. But yeah, that's the progress on the e.l.f. tinted lip balm. So next I'm going to talk about the one makeup item that I have in this project, and that is my Garnier BB Cream and my NYX Day Matte but not Flat Foundation. And the original plan for these was to use up 50% of each of them. And what I was doing was I was just mixing the two of them together and using that as my foundation. But because these are summer shades, by the time that October rolled around, they were way too dark to be just mixing. And so I started using my Revlon Color Stay um, and mixing it in with either one of them rather than these two mixed together. But the thing about the Revlon Color Stay and the NYX Stay Matte Not Flat is that they're definitely both like medium to full coverage foundations depending on how much you use of them. So to mix them together is just, it's honestly so heavy. So I think what I'm gonna have to do, unfortunately, is say goodbye to the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation. Like, I really do like this foundation. I think it's great. It's just too dark and it's too heavy to be mixing in with another medium found medium coverage foundation. This was not from last update. I think this was from the update before and there's a whole bunch of air in here, as you can see. So I made pretty good progress. I wouldn't necessarily say there's there's probably more than half of it, but there's definitely less than 75%. So there's probably like 60 to 65%. I don't know, I'm guesstimating here. So that is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation. Um, and as for my Garnier BB Cream, I have been loving this just as much. This is an awesome BB Cream. Um, most BB Creams, I tried a bunch of them when they first came out and they're so greasy but this one actually does a really good job. It doesn't have a huge amount of coverage as a BB cream typically doesn't, but especially when you mix it in with a more um, medium or light coverage, you definitely get more coverage out of it. So I'm really happy with how this is going. I don't write on this because it's so liquidy <laughs> that it just, it just moves around so much. It wouldn't make sense to do that, but I am definitely feeling like I am super on the right track to hitting at least 50% and I'm just gonna try and use this till the end of the project and see how far I get. So that is the progress on both of my foundations. So next I'm going to talk about the lotions in the project. I finished up the Jergens BB body. So the other lotion that I'm using at home is the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles from Bath & Body Works, a crowd favorite. Um, this has been going pretty well. I mainly have been using this on my hands at night as a hand cream. It's amazing and it smells amazing. So as you can see, um, this is where I put the line. I'm not exactly sure if it's any further down. It's getting to the point where you can like push it in here. It's not completely like, I don't know what you would call it. Like it's not completely full when I fold it at this point but I can't get it any more accurate than that. So that's the line. Um, 
All I can say is that I've been using it, so it has to at least have some progress from the last time. And I was really focusing on the BB body cream, so I didn't use this quite as much. But that's the progress. And the last lotions that I have are set, and they're the ones that I use at work. And that is the Honeycrisp Apple and Buttered Rum Orchard Lotion from Bath & Body Works, and the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I have the worst habit of not actually writing on this, but I will at least fold it so that you can see where it is. Um, so that's how much I'm at, and again, I'm going to insert clips so that we can see where I'm at. Again, we're at the point where, like, this isn't fully bulged out. There's, like, you can kind of press into here, and it won't go up there, so... I don't know, I've been trying to use it, it's not my favorite lotion at all, like I definitely find myself using this way more. So this one's a struggle and I'm keeping it in here just so that I can try and get rid of it. <laughs> the other lotion, however, I have made a super good amount of progress. Now last update I wrote that it had been here and I don't know what I was thinking because I re it pretty much was here with like an additional usage. So basically I used up from here to here uh, this past two weeks. Um, I don't know why I thought that it was all the way down to that last time, but it wasn't. But in any case, I still used a whole bunch this week. Um, and last but not least, I'm gonna talk about my cleansing products. So the first one that I have is the Simple Micellar Cleansing Water, and I am using that in conjunction with Technically, the soft cotton cleansing pads, but as you can see, these are finished up. I actually totally forgot to put these in the beginning of the video, so sorry. I finished up these, um, and so once I finished up these, I went ahead and bought some of the premium kind. These are Big Lots cotton pads, and they're horrible, so don't buy these. But the point is to get rid of this by using the cleansing pads that I don't like either. So. What I basically do is, after I put on foundation, and I'll typically mix the foundation on my hand, I will squirt some of this onto a cotton pad and wipe it up and throw it away. I think I had probably, like, this many. Like, I used up this many since the last one, but I have to go and double check. The other product that I have, so this is the Progress. Um, for these past two weeks and it took me until I think yesterday morning to realize the reason why I'm not using this up as quickly is because literally I'm not using as much product like I was originally trying to use up those other cotton pads so quickly so I'd use up two at the same time and I'd squirt twice as much product in and it didn't occur to me hey you're not using twice as much product so the product's not gonna go away as quickly I don't know why it took me that long to figure it out. I definitely know it'll be done by the end of December 25th, or by December 25th. Um, I don't know how much longer it'll take, though. Like, maybe three more weeks, maybe four more weeks. But I'm using it, so that's all that matters. The next cleansing item that I have is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash. And this is just an acne wash that I will use in the shower, on my chest, and on my arms, and sometimes on my face. Um, I don't know what happened this week, because I use this probably every three days, and as you can see by the lines, it ain't showing that. I think it has to do with the shape of the bottle, personally, because as you can see, it slopes out here. It slopes in, but it really slopes out here, so... I think that has something to do with why it's not showing as much progress, because I used it as much, if not more, than the update between these two lines, so... I don't know. But, again, um, I'm trying to use this up especially now because of the whole microbead thing and the fishes and all that, and if you want to hear about that, either look it up or you can go watch my last update where I got on a soapbox about it. But in any case, this is slowly but surely going away, and I will be happy when it is out of my collection. The next product that I have is the Glam Glow White Mask, which is the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. And this I used twice this week, so go me. Um, and 
it's definitely getting down there. Um, I'm not sure if the light's gonna pick it up, but I can see white down there. It's definitely way farther down in the tube. And again, it's getting used up and that's always exciting. Um, yeah, it's, I really like it. It pulls out all of the crap in my skin. Um, it's just basically a really strong, really intense mud mask and I use it usually twice, like once a week, sometimes twice a week even if I'm really good. Um, but yeah, this is the progress of the Glam Glow. And last but not least, I have the Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser from Neutrogena and I also keep it in this little container and basically I use this to clean my brushes. Um, basically I want to use up all of this. Um, it started here and as of last weekend I actually used up this much. So what I'll do is because it will dispense too much out of this pump, what I do is I actually pour out um, basically this much into this container and I had basically used up an entire bottle's worth so now that I finally have put in a whole new bottle's worth I actually marked on the package so I actually think that I have a fighting chance of finishing this up by the end of the project um, so long as I wash my brushes every single week which if you've watched these other updates you'll know that that can sometimes be a struggle for me but in any case, basically I believe it was up to here last time and um, as of the past two weeks I used that all up and then I refilled the bottle. So I am very excited to say that I have used up one full bottle's worth of this and I am that much closer to finishing up this Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser. So with that, that is the 8 week update of the 12 Pans of Christmas project. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought down below and if you're panning anything, I would love to watch your videos. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys later.